Rather than give you a long introduction to this, because we've done a long introduction enough, I just want you to um, read these with me and think together about how we might use the tools that we've got to answer questions like these. So let's just have a look at the first one. It says solve each problem by writing an equation and then solving it. You may use diagrams to help you think about the information. So here's the first one. There's a picture of Luna Park there for this exact question. It says four family tickets for a theme park cost $352. How much does each ticket cost? Okay. Now, some of you might be able to think carefully on a question like this and not need to write anything down. Perhaps you could actually just do it in your head or maybe if you reach for a calculator. Okay. But rapidly we're going to get into the territory where you can't just think of a, uh, an answer in your head or you won't know what to punch into your calculator. So I want us to think about how we can form an equation that answers this question. Okay. So that $352, I'm just going to write that down and I'm going to encourage you to do the same. We buy four tickets. Four family tickets, I should say. And they total to this. So I want to write an equation that gives me that, right? Four family tickets, the cost of that will be $352. So what could I put on the left-hand side of the equation? Merrick, what are you thinking? Four. We can put any pronoun we want here. X would be fine. A would be fine. M would be fine. But I do notice, at least in this question, if you look at it again, just look at it again, they've asked you to use a particular pronoun for this. And sometimes, quite frequently, they will. What have they chosen? T. T. Why T? T. T. T for ticket. Now, X is fine. Y is fine. But if you can, it's nice if you have choice to choose a letter that's sort of related to the thing that you're trying to find. Right? So let's go with the T that they've suggested. Now hold on a second. We've looked at equations just like this. What should we do to both sides? We should divide by 4. And it's important because it's actually a, um, a multiply hiding there. So I'm going to write that, divide by 4. And we should get an answer at the other end. Has someone already calculated? 88. Like that? Are you happy with that? So does this answer our question? Just have a look back. It says, how much does each ticket cost? And that is exactly what I'm after. Okay. Have a look at question two. Have a look at question, sorry, part B, I should say. Have a look at part B. It starts out very similar. Not just the answer is what I'm after, but how would you write the equation that fits it? Hmm. Here, I'm going to come to your answer in a second, but I will let everyone think for another moment or so. This is part B. Okay, what do you have for us, Hian? 20C equals 18 Does that match what you were about to say, William? Or different? Was it going to be different? But you were like, I'm thinking the same thing, we're on the same wavelength. Um, what does this mean? There's 20 lots of a thing. They have suggested we use the letter C, the pronoun C, and it totals to $18. So what will I do? I should divide by 20 just like I divided here. Okay, Vishaka, did you have a question or a thought? Um, what is $18? Um, do you put the point zero zero because it's bigger? That's a lovely question. Do I put this point zero zero? Um, do we agree that $18 with the dollar sign out the front and $18 and zero cents, do we agree they're the same thing? I'm okay with that. They, they mean the same thing. But it will probably be helpful here because the next line, it doesn't neatly go in, so I'm going to have some sense and all that kind of thing, so I might as well. Can someone help me work out? What should the answer be? Hmm. What have we got? C equals, after we divide by 20? So I'm going to write it, first I'm going to leave it in the same units. I don't want to change too many things at the same time. So I'm still in dollars, right? And I think what I'm getting is 0 0.9, right? Now, um, I've noticed actually, I've been to a bunch of cafes recently, some places write their currency like this. They write, this thing is $0.9, or more likely this coffee is like $4.3, right? However, we generally want to say this the way that it would be, sorry, we generally want to write this the way we would say it. That's 90 cents. We don't do that really for any other form uh, of unit. Now that's in dollars, but you could write it just as easily with a 90 and a C. Don't forget to put that line through it just to distinguish it from what's happening over here. Okay. Now, just one last quick thing on this question before I let you loose on a few other ones, right? We've said before that fractions and decimals and percentages are kind of all equivalent. Do you think this, which is the same number, would you accept that as an answer? Yeah, I don't, I, 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 though even though it's the same number, I don't like it all that much. Why is that? 
What is it about the question that helps us, Leah? Yeah, we know how to deal with currency, right? No one writes their currency like this. I mean, some people write it like that. People who are cheap and trying to save ink. But um, no one writes it like this, right? So I think we should write it either of these ways. I think they're both fine. Okay. Okay. Um, Vishaka, question. Could you also write 90 over 100? Could you write 90 over 100 like this? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. What do you guys think of that? Uh, it's, it is the same as 9 over 10. But again, I don't think we commonly communicate currency in this way. So I want to do it in a way that's as clear as possible. I mean, technically it's correct, but I think this is much clearer. Pens and pencils out of hands. I want you to be undistracted as we think together. So I've written a pair of equations here. In I haven't solved them, but I've written a pair of equations in response to the words in the question. Um, what do you think? Are you happy? Can you give me a thumbs up, thumbs down? Are you happy? Are they similar or identical to the equations you wrote? Yeah. Now, I'm actually not that interested in what happens after this because I think you guys are pretty down pat on solving equations. But it's this translation stage that I'm really interested in and becomes quite tricky. It's a skill all of its own. Okay. Um, three times a number. That's what it says. A number is tripled and the result is 99. So you can see there's me tripling the number. And there's me saying what the result is. What is the final answer, by the way? 33, right? Because we can divide both sides by 3. Have a look at the next one. Um, 7 is added to a number. Is that the phrasing? I'm just trying to do it. Yep, 7 is added to a number. And the uh, result is 23. So this is my statement that matches with that, right? So what should I do to both sides? Minus 7. Minus 7, subtract 7, and I get n equals 16. 16. Fantastic.